What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Skate Intel. I've been at this park all week stacking clips with all the homies trying to make sure this is the best video yet. So make sure you stick around for the whole tour. Before we get too far, I am at the Sunken Garden Skate Park in Livermore, California. This is one of my hometown parks, so I'm hyped to show you guys around. First off, we have the Fun Box. Now, it's not actually a box, but it is a lot of fun. Consisting of the Taco Ledge, the Rainbow Ledge, and a sweet rail that can be hit in any way, shape, or form. This whole setup right here is super sick with endless possibilities. So here's a few clips of me and the homies tearing it up. And here we have the manual pad. Great height, not too long, good coping, and even has this gnarly ledge going all the way across the top. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this ledge is pretty high. However, if you got the pops for it, then you're gonna have a good time. Sean, that tray flip nose manny was fire. Well, on that note, we're on to the next obstacle. Right after the manual pad, we have my favorite ledge in the whole park. Super long with the perfect height. My favorite thing to do on this ledge is come flying in this way, pop on at the beginning, and just grind the whole thing. Moving on from the ledge, well, we have another ledge. And the fat rail, AKA the chode rail. I do not personally enjoy this rail. It's just way too fat to lock in comfortably. However, it is pretty fun to throw a slide on here and there. But just because I don't like doing grinds on it, doesn't mean the homies don't. This ledge right here is also a lot of fun. The ends are actually a little bit higher than the center where you usually pop on at, making it real easy to grind. If you want, you can even use it as a drop off or a manual pad. So this ledge and the fat rail are the perfect distance away from the long ledge, making it great for lines.
continuing on the outside circle of the park, we roll by the high ledge. Now this is one of the highest ledges in the park. It's about the same height as the tall ledge behind the manual pad. However, it's wider on top, making it a bit less of a mind trip to hop onto. I do not see too many people hit this ledge, but I love throwing a 50 whenever I roll by. Continuing our outside circle of the park, we roll by the long curved quarter pipe. Placed in the best spot imaginable, allowing you to keep your lines going in any direction you want. The best thing to do is hit the fun box, come flying in, grind it out, and just keep going. Now, since we've taken a full lap around the gardens, let's make our way into the center of the park. First off, at the horseshoe. This is a big three-quarter bowl with steep transition and tight corners. It's also great to be used as a half pipe, bowl, or whatever you want. The homies are tearing this thing up and you're gonna love what they're putting down. The entire horseshoe is surrounded by these super mellow rollers, providing the great opportunity to do some real gnarly air outs. Exiting the horseshoe, we make our way over to the big bank wall. It's not too steep and just the perfect bank to learn new tricks on. So there are three bowls in the park total. The horseshoe, which you already saw, we have this mellow bowl, and then a slightly steeper bowl. So you gotta have quick feet to ride these things properly. The transition's just really close together, but that definitely does not stop my boy Kevin. He was absolutely tearing these things up. You gotta check it out. I'm done. <laughs> 
right between the bowls, we have this sweet quarter pipe. Everybody at the park loves hitting tricks on this thing. And last but not least, we have the hips. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, these things are a little tough to do flip tricks on just because they're so steep. However, I'm sure if you get a little creative, you'll think of something fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I put in a lot of time making it and I think it's one of the best Skate Intel episodes yet. Smash that thumbs up button for all the homies who absolutely killed the park for the video. I really appreciate you guys. If you like the content, consider subscribing because I post new videos every Wednesday and the videos are only getting better from here on out. So until then, I'm gonna see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.